Hello everyone, my name is Illuminated and today we're going to play Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. The game is a narrative RPG in which your every choice determines the fate of three main characters and of the Boston Camarilla. With rumors of plots, murders and power struggles, we must work in the shadows to protect our sect in a frantic investigation that plunges Boston into chaos. The game puts emphasis on the consequences of our actions in both the investigation and in our social interactions with other characters. Be sure to write your thoughts on the game in the comment section, like and share the video, and subscribe to this channel if you're new. This is Vampire the Masquerade, Swan Song. Vampires Walk Among Us Unknowing, we've built their cities, fought their wars, and sated their hunger. For centuries, these creatures have been organized into rival sects the largest of which is the Camarilla. In its domains, Camarilla courts enforce the masquerade, a global conspiracy hiding the existence of vampires from the mortal world. Breaking the masquerade is punishable by final death. In Boston, vampire factions have long been at each other's throats. After much conflict, Hazel Iverson, the new prince, has sealed a fragile pact with a group of blood sorcerers known as the Hartford Chantry. This alliance will not only provide stability to the domain, but will hand the prince the blood trade. The trafficking of blood and mortal victims that serves the needs of the vampire elite Tonight, the undead will celebrate. I'll just get this going. There, ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? Kind of blurry. Can't see anything. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. All right, I see someone sitting in a pool of blood, and a woman. I see a lot of bodies. Dead vampires. Are we being hunted? Are we being hunted by vampire hunters? The hunters? Well, that's not good. Or maybe we're at war with another faction. And we're in Boston, where the story takes place. Laisha. Are you doing this, Laisha? Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. Okay. We've got a problem. April Bosley? Call them back. Oh, she's the prince. Prince Iverson. So the prince is a lady. And we have this vampire here feeding on someone. Sounds like she was enjoying it too. It's the prince. We must go quickly. Let's go. So the prince is a lady. Prince's quarters, 11 p.m. Come on. Damn it. 
Hurry up. Calm down. You yeah, ma'am, Louie. Rebellious star. You know full well, I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it. It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it. This has got to be bad, Amem. It is bad. That's why it's a code red. Dialogue. In a dialogue, some answers require the use of your skills. Your skill level is compared to that of your opponent. The higher rating wins. You cannot use a skill if its rating is zero. Willpower. So you have, we have a 12 willpower. Using a skill consumes willpower. If your opponent wins, you gain a few willpower at the end of the dialogue. All right, that's cool. All right, so we can either use psychology or persuasion, but we don't have any points in persuasion, so we're going to pick uh, the first option. She has nothing to hide. Or does she? We don't know. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure you don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem. Yeah, Normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. Well, freaking out's not gonna do anything good. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. Hmm. Okay. Well, since we're since I'm a new vampire, what's the code red? Did you say this is the first code red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. All right, so she sounds like a, risk mitigation. a whiny teenager. A code red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all... It's in the name, code red. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. We clean house. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents. Okay, so we burn everything. Betray our network and relationships. What comes after phase two? Just phase three. That it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run. We leave everything behind and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Really? Everything I have is right here in this. What if your life is in danger? Years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you going to be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. All right, let's go see the prince. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amen. I wouldn't dilly dally if I were you. As for you, Journey. Someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. Man, journey is fucked. Disciplines. Vampires have supernatural abilities usually inherited from their clan. Disciplines. Some disciplines can be used in dialogues. As with skills, the higher level wins. Not all disciplines are available to all vampires. Some mortals may possess certain powers, although most have no defense against disciplines. Hunger. Using a discipline generates hunger. Hunger has a value that cannot be exceeded. This limits a vampire's use of their powers. A vampire at their hunger limit risks losing control, attacking, and feeding on the closest mortal. Alright, so don't go hungry and we'll be fine. Okay, so we can either flatter or back journey up, but we don't have any points. So we're gonna flatter April and then fail. You know, back in the day, Nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Mm. My dear Mm. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please. You're way out of your league here. 
This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The Prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The Prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. Okay, so let's go see Hazel. Good luck, Journey. She's fucked. All right, let's go. It's going to be a long night. It is. Miss Lewis, welcome. Thank you. All right, let's go see everyone. Hopefully everything works out. What are you guys talking about? Can't hear you. Go on, speak up. This guy doesn't like us. He looks angry. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What about that bearded guy? You better not attack, bro. Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the Eternal Protector. Boil. Great title. Is court attendance usually this sparse? They, there are usually more of us. Everyone should have been at the party. Or she's talking too much. Yeah, I think she's talking too much right now. She's immortal. She shouldn't be talking that much. What was rule number two? You should Don't know your talk place. Too much. And never talk about yourself. You don't trust anyone, do you? Nope. Not anyone here. And you'd be wise to. A bunch of backstabbers. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? Look at that ghoul over there. Wrong game, buddy. Security. Go back to Fallout. To be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? Embrace? No. She no. wants to be embraced. No longer the time. And who is that? And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. What? He's a real shark. He's one of the members of the Primogen. I don't want to talk to her about it. Now let's warn her. Tread lightly. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the prince's power. The check and balance. They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be. Well, that's good for her. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't. The John's Yaka. All right. John. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it take Stop yelling, man. Stop screaming. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. The prince is taking care of everything. Anymore. Chill out. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? Nope. We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon. Hilda. What? Oh, come on, Hilda. She needs to grow up. Hilda. Levi. The hell's going on here? Hilda McIndrews. Yes. I don't need your help. Mem, please stop. 
calling me that. Damn. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People yeah. People are staring. Focus. Focus allows you to temporarily increase a skill by one or two levels. The more you increase your focus, the more the willpower cost increases. To be focused, a skill must have a minimum score of one point. Disciplines or knowledge cannot be focused. All right, let's continue. Okay. Tie. If the skill or discipline levels are the same, the outcome of the conflict is uncertain. The chance of victory can be influenced by a number of bonuses or penalties, as well as spending experience points. All right. Does she know anything about the code red? 30% of success. Okay. Okay, now it's zero. Of course. Opponent behavior. Your opponents can also focus their own skills. Unlike you, focus only allows them to increase their skill level by one level. The risk of opponent focus is represented by a percentage. The more aggressive you are, the more the risk of opponent focus increases. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the prime agenda. She knows, but she's not going to tell us. Something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey. Of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, yeah sure. I've got to go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. All right, so let's take the elevator. And see what that prince wants. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me? Alright, so what is this place? Everything's floating. Or in space. Or is this a dream? This is a hospital. Right? Yeah, this is a hospital. Keypads. Okay. Laisha, unstable seer. Is everything okay, Mom? Penny for your thought? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? The Institute? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see. Things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. Well, yeah, I miss her so much. It seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? 
Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Oh, she disappears. Or did she turn invisible? Laisha. It's been a while. Hey, man. Hey, everyone's here. All right, let's go see the prince. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. MM doesn't realize how serious it is. She should show the prince more respect. Yeah, show some respect. I know that you knew her before, but she's the leader of Boston now. You owe her respect before everyone and in every circumstance. She is your prince. Are you lecturing me? First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? My God. Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our settings, Sounds so immature. Then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. She's got no business lecturing me. Did John ask for it? All right, let's choose this one. Siaka jumped down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't going to help us solve it. Imam can believe whatever she wants. I don't care. And yet, many of the things I saw ended up happening. Yeah, the visions. His appearance, Hazel's rise to power, your breakup with Hilda too. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. All right, let's go see her. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. Imam Louis, rebellious star, the diva who lights up Boston's nights, but bringing light into a world of darkness can be perilous. Imam knows this, but she doesn't care. Investigator, profile that focuses on knowledge and skills that allows you to go undercover, extort, or steal information. Alright. Jack of all trades. Profile that focuses on improving attributes and a large selection of skills. It allows for a maximum number of interactions but with less mastery. Veteran, profile that focuses on dialogue skills and a physical attribute. It allows you to use the character's aura in conversation. Or we can just freeball it. Character cheat. At the start of a scene, previously earned experience points can be spent to improve the character's abilities. These abilities are divided into two areas the character sheet and the discipline sheet. Each attribute affects a specific list of skills and disciplines. Attributes increase the chance of victory in case of a tie. Improving them also decreases the willpower cost of focus. The use of knowledge skills do not have a willpower cost. They cannot be improved by using focus. All right, let's continue. Let's apply. Discipline menu. The discipline sheet contains the disciplines the character possesses. Discipline powers. Experience points invested in a discipline increase the level and can provide additional powers. Discipline powers can be passive and may be used in dialogue or in exploration. All right, let's continue. Auspex. Supernatural perception. Once activated, it heightens your five senses and allows you to see possible future and read your enemies. Nice. Yeah, 
Yes, Prince, what do you want? Tell me what's bothering you. Hazel. Dalsin. Come in, M.M. Alright, so what's up with this guy? Gawking with his mouth open, ready to pounce. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Yes, Tell indeed. Me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Yeah. Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. Like what? We bring Journey to me. Journey? Why? What do you want with her? I have what did she do? I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. All right. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. She hasn't done anything. Hazel, I'll be the judge of that. All right. Yes, Let's go. My prince. Let's go get I'll her. Be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know Primogen. In it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. Okay, so no points in education, so we're going to keep silent. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I, uh, what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Damn right. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seen next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. So what? I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? I don't like the court. Why don't you like the court? I need to think about it. Okay, I need to think about it. I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it. But we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay. I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. I won't. Count on me. I will not what fail you. What the hell is going on? She walking like that. Nice, we have a bar. M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course. A refreshment in quotes. I was okay. thinking more like a vessel. Oh, a vessel. Serve yourself, but try not to damage them, okay? They're Why not? I've got left in stock. I get it. I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. Okay. The hunt. Safe zone. A safe zone is a place where no one can see you feed. You can find them by exploring the surroundings. Only one prey may be sent to a safe zone at a time. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. No news from anyone. 
All right, let's find a place away from prying eyes. Follow me. That's the lady in red. Sorry. Can I watch? Oh, oh no. No. Did I break the game? She's supposed to be. Oh no. What the hell? <laughs> I broke the game. Now she's. She's not. She's not going to be able to feed. Open the door. She's right here. This is not good. Hello? Bye. All right. Let's go find our vessel. This one is a vessel. Do you want us to? Yes, do it. Yes. This one is also a vessel. So we need to find a quiet place like this. Safe zone. Prey will naturally be revealed as you approach them. To feed, you will need to find a safe zone you can lure your prey to. Go after isolated prey. If it is surrounded by potential witnesses, sending the prey to a safe zone will increase suspicion of you. So don't do it when people are watching. Don't send them to safe zones when people are watching. They'll become suspicious. They'll think we're a vampire. And they may call the authorities. We can take this one, but... I'm choosing this one first. Hello. Uh, um, boy. Follow me. Come on. It won't take long. Yes. Nice. Sit down. Be gentle. Buckus. Vampires use their powers to charm or subdue their prey and satisfy their hunger. When feeding on prey, you can control the amount of blood you take. Press and hold the button to increase the amount of hunger eliminated. If you do not press the button or if you don't release it before the bar is full, the prey will die, drain of its blood. Suspicion. Killing prey will increase suspicion. Mortals will be on their guard, while vampires will question your respect for the masquerade. And we don't want that. Alright, let's go. Bite. Let go. Don't kill her. Was it good? I bet it was. Resonance. Some prey, their blood, emotionally charged, have a resonance that your character will earn after feeding. At the end of a scene, a resonance provides an experience bonus for the corresponding discipline. If more than one resonance is acquired during a given scene, only the last one acquired is saved. Second bite. If your prey survives, you may feed on it a second time. However, this will cause it to die and increase suspicion. Well, that's not good. All right, so we can fit on her again, but she would die as a result. So we're not going to do that, and we're going to move on. All right, Jay, where are you hiding? Mm. What a shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I'm looking for a journey. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh. Good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... You might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. Like what? And it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. And calm down. Sorry. Did you need anything else? She's just warning you. 
All right, the prince has a floor all to herself. Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Okay. Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back anytime you want. Okay. So we can't go here. Yes. Of course, we can't. Hey, lady. Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. It's been a while. Can I help you? Yeah, have you seen uh, Jay? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. Yeah, thanks for the advice. What's her job here? Do you still work for April? Well, aren't you rude? My loyalty is with the court. It seems like Bosley's leading you around by the nose, though. She's got some extra responsibilities. Sure. But that's it. I have my own agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. Alright, thanks. I've got stuff to do. See you later. See you. Right, let's look around and see if we can buy something. What's this? I never liked the stuff before. Why would I want it in the blood I drink now? Whoa. Were you taking pictures of me? The hell? Alright, so what's in here? I know that perfume. Jay. Auspex heightened senses. Auspex enhances your five senses. This condition reveals new interactions, detecting sense, listening to conversations from a distance, revealing past of objects, or even experiencing premonitions. You can also discover items that have been hidden using supernatural powers. Maybe oh, that's pretty useful. No, 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 All right. Really All right, what's this? Track. All right, let's follow this trail. Where did you go, Jay? Was she in here? All right, let's keep going. She went that way. Hey, jackass. I, I'm sorry about before. I'm sorry. Right. a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani. She was there. Child. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys. How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. Alright, any news from Jay? I'm looking for Journey. Probably not. No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office. Yeah, what do you know about the ch the Chantry? You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. All right, let's go. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. 
If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Thanks. All right, let's keep going. Wood and fang. The Zori's ears must be burning. Hey. M.M., we haven't seen you here in ages. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. Okay, drop it. Does he know something? He thinks he's too smart. Well, he's not going to tell us because we're going to fail. Whatever. If you know something, just tell me. I'm teasing you. I haven't the slightest idea what has you in such sorts. It was just a joke. Yeah. Very funny. I don't have time for this. I'm out of here. Hi. Hello. Hey, Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a mem, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. All right. Uh, which way should we go? What's in here? Our car is... It's locked. Alright. Keltum and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. Alright, let's listen in. This can't be happening. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker. Pretended she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said... As you like, Miss Abigail Downey. And I left. And what did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. Uh, but why would she need that? Why now? I wonder. Okay. What's in here? She wouldn't have deleted this message if the email wasn't important. Check your email. Urgent. Abby, can you confirm that it's safe to come to Iverson's? I'm waiting for your reply. Where are you? I've been looking for you everywhere. Code red. All right. Nice pictures. Was this? Battery's dead. Well, can we replace the battery? Go we'll plug it in somewhere. Battery's dead. No, no, that's this one. Oh, I'm playing with fire. If someone spots me. History of the Jefferson Library. The library was closed in 1935 following the construction of the various university campuses. It was acquired by Ms. Hazel Iverson in 1946. In 1960, Ms. Iverson ceded it to members of the Gemini League, a resistance group fighting against English oppression from the cities of Hartford and New Haven. Since then, the Hartford Chantry has moved in, discreetly at first, during the reign of Quentin King and then openly since our prince, Mrs. Iverson, took the throne. The transfer of ownership was made official in 2014. This gift is a strong signal sent to the Warlocks by our prince. This place fulfills the rules imposed by its new owners and is an extension of the art for Chantry's domain. Our prince does not have jurisdiction there. In the interest of cordial and diplomatic relations, any kindred who enter the premises uninvited will be subject to the laws of the art for Chantry. The prince has informed the court of the risks involved in going to the Jefferson Library without approval, even though relations with the Hartford Chantry was excellent. What's this? Let's read it. This page was torn out. All right. 
All right, what else do we have? Nothing. Let's go to the other room. I've got to hurry. I'm not supposed to be here. Don't worry. No one's going to catch you. Take. What is it? It's a card. Magnetic key card. Okay. These books are gorgeous. Lazarus must have paid a fortune for them. Province Town Library, maybe some old books on the first kindred. Boston Public Library, still have some unexplored archives. Taunton Public Library, some works forbidden to the public, undetermined nature. Jefferson Library in Boston, probably some very rare thermatological archives, but access is risky. Warburn Public Library, unexplored archives. Cambridge Library, two ancient tomes on the history of the Ventru in Boston. All right. Where's their camera? Where's their camera here? I think we're done here. Let's go. No, the other way. Oh, you again. What do you want? September 4th, 2019, 9 10 p.m. Current business presentation of the annual report. 11 p.m. Unification party starts when all guests have arrived. September 7, 2019, tour of Dr. Durham's Red what Salon. Nightmare. September 9, 2019, private audience all night. September 12, 2019, meeting with Dr. Underwood on the management of the Red Salon. Meeting with Dr. Durham on integrating the thaumaturges into the Red Salon. Security review with Ms. Drury and Mr. Leto. September 13, 2019, monthly meeting with Mr. J. Moore. We read speech of the Primogen Council on October 21st. Come up with a more authoritative ending. Okay. What a disaster. Oh, what's this? Bosley's looking for answers. Leaf through, okay. Crystal Alexander, all right, phone number, Leonard DePrist and Luches. All right, emails and stuff. Okay. What a nightmare. Okay, tell me about that nightmare of yours. April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Okay, psychology, we can't use that. I won't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. You can tell me. My lips are sealed. It's not gonna work. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. What does journey risk? Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst, destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. All right, let's just drop it and move on. Fine, I won't insist. If you see her, Tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. 